The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA is a hotbed of innovation, churning out futuristic technologies that often bleed into the civilian world. The details of Project Chimera are, by design, classified. However, leaks and educated guesses paint a picture of a program pushing the frontiers of neural interfaces. The potential applications are staggering. Imagine elite soldiers receiving battlefield training implants, acquiring combat expertise in a matter of days. Think surgeons performing delicate procedures with the downloaded knowledge of a master, language barriers could crumble as thoughts translate instantaneously. But the ethical quagmire is just as vast. What happens to a person's individuality when their memories can be tampered with? Would soldiers become emotionless machines, stripped of empathy? Would a downloaded skill feel earned, or would it be a hollow imitation? Project Chimera wouldn't be achieved overnight. The first hurdle would be deciphering the complex language of the brain. DARPA might delve into advanced EEG electroencephalogram technologies, creating high-resolution maps of neuronal's activity. Brain-computer interfaces BC as would be miniaturized and implanted, fostering a direct line of communication. Initial trials would likely focus on simple tasks. Imagine a paralyzed patient controlling a robotic limb through thought. Language translation could be a stepping stone. With the BCI translating thought patterns into spoken words across languages, the success of these early phases would pave the way for more ambitious goals. With a basic understanding of thought translation, Project Chimera could take a leap towards its core objective, knowledge transfer. Imagine a veteran soldier volunteering to have their combat experience uploaded. The project might utilize a combination of advanced memory extraction techniques and targeted neural stimulation to capture not just factual knowledge, but also the intangible aspects. The split-second decisions, the honed instincts. This information could then be downloaded into a trainee's brain. The ethical implications are severe. Would the trainee be truly acquiring the skill, or simply mimicking a pre-recorded experience. More importantly, would the mental strain of integrating another's experience be too much to bear? The final phase of Project Chimera ventures into the realm of science fiction. Imagine a world where memories can be shared, fears extinguished, and personalities reshaped. DARPA might explore techniques to manipulate emotions, creating fearless soldiers or compliant populations, the potential for misuse is terrifying. Imagine a dystopia where dissenters have their memories erased, or where entire populations are manipulated through forced emotional regulation. The potential benefits of Project Chimera are undeniable. However, the human cost cannot be ignored. The project raises fundamental questions about what it means to be human. Would a person with downloaded memories still be themselves? Would a soldier stripped of fear still be a soldier, the very definition of identity and experience could be thrown into question. DARPA, for all its advancements, operates within a legal and ethical framework. Project Chimera would undoubtedly face immense resistance. The potential for mind control and the violation of free will are issues that cannot be taken. Lightly, the success of the project would hinge on finding a balance, achieving technological advancement while safeguarding human autonomy. Whether Project Chimera is a real initiative or a hypothetical exploration, it serves as a stark reminder of the ethical tightrope walked by cutting-edge research. DARP's mission to push boundaries is crucial for national security. However, it must be accompanied by a commitment to transparency and public discourse. The lines between progress and peril are often thin. And only through open discussion can we ensure that the fruits of scientific exploration benefit. All of humanity, 